Christmas and got a lot to say. On hey. everything we go through within the day. Politics, dating, recipes, traveling. And yep, of course, I'm the karaoke queen. If I take no L's, I'm always booking flights. This is my lovely lunatic lead your life. Come on, get two steps in the room. This is my lovely lunatic lead your life. Come on, get two steps in the room. The way. Hey everybody, welcome. I know it's been such a long ass time and um, I'm just here because there's a lot to talk about. You know, there's a lot going on right now in these times and I honestly was being a little bit lazy, but I'm here to show up and show the fuck out. Today's topic is the fucking Rona. Yes, we are calling coronavirus the Rona or the ro ro or the fucking bullshit, whatever you want to call it, because it's been a lot going on, and, you know, frankly, I'm tired of it. I am very tired of it. So, right now, I'm going to pause this music, because I don't know how loud the shit is. <laughs> I'm trying new things, and I'm sorry to try it on this, but I got to know what's going on, and I want to talk to you about what's going on. Now, I'm not going to talk about the statistics every single day on the news, I'm sure that's all they've been talking about. So I'm not going to, y'all know how many people have it. And well, they think we know, we think we know just because they put on the news, but we don't really, really know what the real deal is, but whatever. I ain't even going to get into that right now. I'll bring that into it later. (laughs) Cheers, everyone. Now, we are in a time of, a time that we never thought we would be in. Um, I guess the best way to say is this is a rude awakening. You know what I mean? Um, in movies, we've seen the end of the world. We've seen all seen the end of the world movies. Some have to do with, um, zombies. Some have to do with viruses. That's what's going on now. But when this first came out, I was always wondering how, this virus started. You know, in the movies, they have the one virus and they're looking for that one person who got it. So they're trying to track him down. The whole movie's trying to track him down to stop him from releasing this. I want to know if that's what happened. Or did the government, like most people are saying, take this shit over to China? And when they say government, I'm not implying the American government, although I don't put shit past them because I can get into some shit with that fucking shit, the American government. But I'm just saying, um, I don't know which government did it, but somebody who had the power to do so put the shit out here. And I feel like maybe it got out of control. People weren't expecting it to um, go out of hand like the way it is. But that's another story. So we see those movies. So we at first we weren't really taking it seriously. I, for one, was not taking this shit seriously. When it first came out, I'm like, look, they're just trying to scare people. Nothing's going to happen. Like, this is bullshit. Then the NBA got shut down. I was like, oh. All right, well, maybe, maybe, you know, uh, maybe this is they part of the government or they working with the government to make people even be more scared. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I was just wondering, like, okay, what the fuck is really going on with this damn Rona? But it just kept progressing more and more. And then to the point where I'm out of work right now. I haven't been in work since the 19th of uh, March. And as of right now, we might not go back till the end of April. And that's maybe. I don't even know if I'm going to go back to the end of April. I have to apply for unemployment. Now, mind you, I work for my parents. So we have a small business in Newark. Um, Newark is working with the small businesses to help them out during these times. However, they're requiring a lot of work. And maybe they feel like people won't do everything that they need to do. and they'll be discouraged. And that's why they want three years of your bank's records, uh, proof that you've been at this place. Like they want three years of records of everything. Okay. My parents been just, they've been there since 2012, eight years. So, you know, they, it's, it's a lot and it's my family. So for me, it's different. Um, I'm out of work. I do work from home slightly. We do sign. So we would have to go to work to make these signs. However, you know, I'm making do with what I have to do. You know what I mean? This is a time where people need to 
You know, because we never we never imagined this this could happen. And there's often times when people say, oh, I need a mental break from work. I need a mental break from work. But guess what? This is your mental break from work. And I swear to God, I was going through something. I can't even describe what I was going through. I don't know if it was depression. I don't know if it was just me and my feelings. But I was seriously, deeply in my feelings. You understand what I'm saying? So the fact that this happened for the first week, I swear I didn't do shit. I was like, it was a snow day for a week. I did not do shit. I would say I'm doing stuff on my social media, which is what, that's another spot. <laughs> I would say I'm cleaning my whole house today, but then I would just pick up one pair of pants and fold it and put it away. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in a rush to do, th um, to do things, but I was constantly saying that I have to do things like constantly. So it was driving me crazy. It put like a mental strain on me because I'm like, all right, today I have to do this knowing damn well, I'm not going to do it. And then I didn't do it. And then I feel like shit, like, bitch, you are lazy ass. You should have did what you had to do, but it was for a week of solitude. And honestly, I wish I relieved myself with the pressure and not put so much pressure on myself. However, the week that I had off really helped me. Like it was the mental break I needed from work. I didn't have to go out and people complain. Like people think I go out all the time. I mean, hello, my lovely woman is your life. I do love to have fun. I do love to go out, but I also do love to stay home. If I don't have plans for the weekend, I'm happy staying home. You know what I mean? So it's not a big deal. And I've enjoyed all this time at my house. The only time I really have gone outside was to go to the grocery store. And that was only twice. You know, um, I am going to go out today because I'm a greedy person. And I was craving some uh, <laughs> Parmesan crisps from all these. I've been doing a keto diet. I've been saving money. I haven't been going out to spend money. Um... Although I did have a cheat day and I bought pizza, which I won't do again. I'm craving a cheeseburger today too. So I may go get an English toast muffin and have that with my burger. So I don't feel as guilty as a big piece of bread <laughs> versus a smaller piece of bread. I don't know. Hey, welcome Peggers. Welcome Chill Jelly. Thank you for tuning into my lovely lunatic day of life. I'm just um, going in on the fucking Rona. And that's just, um, for those of you guys who are just listening, this is not updates on the coronavirus because I'm sure you hear this and see this all the time but this is just something for myself and for you that personally this could be the best thing in your life I joined um something called the pattern uh -oh. and the pattern is something that is like an app like a horoscope app. You put in your name, your birthday, the if you know the time you're born, it's even better. Um, the city you were born in, and it asks you for just a little bit of information. You put it in and it rounds up, it calculates. And this shit tells you it's like a psychic on your phone. No lie. Like the shit they telling me is for real, for real. I've looked up, so you can look up stuff from a certain date to see what your horoscope was at that date. You can put in your friend or your significant other's date um date of birth and their information to see how you guys are compatible as friends or as a significant other it's a lot of things you can do to play with it and you can share it with people on there it's like almost like probably i don't know not like instagram but you can share whatever your thoughts are or you can share whatever your horoscope was for that day but i wouldn't even call it a horoscope because it's more than that but anyway i say all that to say i'm pretty sure the pattern knows what the fuck is going on right now so it does include um the times that we're in right now which is obvious because we're all dealing with something right now but it let me know that this was the time for me to work on my craft i've been bullshitting i've been pussyfooting you know a lot of people um maybe taking this advantage taking this for advantage and complaining about staying in the house but i think it's a good thing because it can encourage you to go out and do something not go out i'm sorry to work on something that you do work on your craft you know what i mean um i don't know how long i'm going to be out of work i actually have a, a trip planned for jamaica in july it's my birthday my birthday vacation so i'm still i don't know if it's going to happen i know i can push everything back i know i can get my money back but i just don't know what's happening at these times but i look forward to that but i also know that i can work on my craft and i want to work on my craft because i feel like I feel like this is a sign right here. Like, if you do what you have to do right now, you might not even have to go to work. You could work from home doing what you love. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. You understand? Um, and that's what I think a lot of people should do. Don't complain about not being able to go outside. Don't get me wrong. When it's time to go outside, we sure as hell going to have a banging ass time. 
Okay, and the summertime and the warmer weather is coming. So we definitely will definitely, definitely, definitely enjoy and live life to the fullest. And hopefully people won't go crazy and act be violent when it's warm because you have to embrace the time that you really realize life is so anything can happen. You know, I don't want to get too sentimental, but you know, a few years ago. It was a big thing with having uh, refugees come to our country because something was going on in their country. A lot of people weren't for it. Me, I'm all for it. If we can help people, I would love to. As a matter of fact, we should have done more. Okay. So look at how easily and how quickly this Rona came to us and just debilitated everything that we're doing. You know what I mean? What if we had to actually leave this country and want another country to help us get through what we're going through? Canada doesn't shut the border on us. Mexico is about, I don't know if they officially have. Honestly, I have not been watching the news, but I know when I did watch the news, Mexico was ready to close their borders to America too. So imagine that you can't leave. So the people who felt that um, refugees shouldn't be allowed in our country, look at us now. Look how easily it could turn to us. And another thing we should recognize is look how how easily or how quickly our world was turned upside down and it's something that's serious but it's not something that on a max level like it could have been something in the air where you could just breathe in the air and that's a wrap you know what i mean it could have been something where you know it's raining for 47 nights in a row and it's you know what i mean like it could have been a natural disaster instead of this man-made shit. And the reason why I get so upset is because I feel like it was man-made and it was spread out. Like people want to play with people's lives because they feel like we don't matter, but we do matter. And it's fucking up our economy. It really is fucking up our economy. I don't know how we can recover from this. I do appreciate that, you know, we don't have to pay certain bills, but then when it comes time to pay the bills, do we have to double up? <laughs> You know, I, I just, this is all I want to know. I'm just trying to understand. This effing Rona is just fucking all this shit up. I still want to go to Jamaica for my birthday, my um, A day vacay, because um, it's A, and um, it is my birthday in July. So, in the end of July, too. So, I'm just trying to get all my shit together. Um, I just want everybody to feel blessed and stay up. Keep your head up, because this right now is something that we all have to deal with you know, until further notice. Other countries are doing better than other countries. Other, some countries are doing worse than some countries. But I feel like this is your mental break. This is your time where you can relax. I live alone with my cat, Lola Sky, So I'm good. I don't have anyone getting on my damn nerves. Some of you may have kids, a significant other, and it might be too much to handle. So I do understand that you guys are ready to get out the house. But this is your time for you and your family to be closer. This is the time for you guys to work on something great, even your kids. I know they're out of school. They teachers, we appreciate the teachers now more than ever. You understand? Some of us, including myself, might have become even more of an alcoholic because as I'm doing this right now, I am taking a shot. Hold on. Yeah, so <laughs> the first week, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was like, like I said, a snow day with alcohol and some greenery. And I really was indulging. I was kind of working from home a little bit. I did have some stuff to finish off from, you know, the previous week before we were shut down. But, you know, right now, I just want everyone to stay safe. If you don't have to travel, don't travel. Um, and just... Just look at this time to reflect on on what you have to do and what you haven't done. You know, I don't want to bore you and I don't want to get on your nerves talking about this shit, but y'all got to be okay. Y'all have to be okay. And I have a podcast coming up talking to my fellow single people because I want you guys to be okay. This next one is going to be for you. And honestly... You see how great your potential is? Before I go, I'm sorry. I just have to say something to you. Your potential could be so great, but sometimes you're scared of your own potential. And what you're scared of, people are admiring you for whatever it is you're scared of. I, for one, I don't know if it's been scared of my own greatness or laziness, but I definitely laziness has a lot to do with it. But it's also fear, and fear can take you down. I, um, for a week, I said I was going to work on my podcast. I didn't do shit for my podcast. I haven't done a podcast since probably January-ish. 
Yeah, I think it was January. So now we're in April. And yesterday, I had a few drinks. It took me 10 minutes. I wrote down five episodes for a podcast. Imagine if I was doing that shit every day. You understand? And it was just coming to me. Like, I couldn't write fast enough. So I just want you guys to reflect on this time that we have during the Rona. And I want you guys to appreciate what you have during the fucking Rona. And just live your best life, even if it's in the house. I am loving not having to go anywhere. You understand me? Like I said, maybe I need to stop drinking. <laughs> uh, we're going to take baby steps on that, but I will update you on my drinking. Like, I'd rather stop drinking before I stop smoking weed, honestly. If I could stop drinking and just smoke weed, I'll be good. And eventually I'll stop smoking weed too. But I feel like I need a clutch. I'm definitely not having sex. So I can't stop both. I will go crazy. I had to buy a new toy on Amazon. Amazon's my best friend right now. I've ordered mad shit from Amazon. They are kicking off, making so much money. And that is <laughs> a fact, okay? But they are putting people's lives at risk. But that's on them. They want to do it. They want to make extra money. As long as my package doesn't have the Rona on it. I sure as hell don't open my package in my apartment. I open the outside, throw the box away, come inside, wash my hands, and I even have my wipes and wipe down the package too. Just just to be safe, yo. I ain't trying to catch the Rona before I go to Jamaica. I don't have insurance, okay? So I will definitely die if I catch this shit. Not to put things up there too. Hey, Sally C. Yeah, sex too. I, have, I haven't had sex since... Uh... <laughs> November. Okay, it's been November and it was the beginning of November. So I'm just maybe that's why I'm drinking too much more. Um if we can get a little freaky, I bought a suction cup dildo and it arrived yesterday. And so, you know, I was experimenting with it a few times yesterday and I did enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I might have enjoyed it too much. I'm going to have to give myself a schedule. I can't use it every day. That would be too much because I would feel like a crazy person. Maybe once a week, you know, <laughs> whiskey and masturbation, Sally. Yes, girl, I feel you. I, I've been, that's what I've been having, whiskey. I bought Jameson and I also bought vodka. I got to switch it up. I can't keep doing the same shit. You know, I have a taste, different taste buds. You know what I mean? So uh, I did have fun with my little toy. Excuse me. <clears throat> nope, it's not the Rona. I promise you. I just took a pull right now. I promise you. I've masturbated so much that I could be pregnant by myself. I might have got myself pregnant just by masturbation. Like I said, I haven't been doing shit, just masturbating. I have been cleaning up my apartment slowly but surely. So by the end of the month, this place will be spick and span. I just have so many clothes. That's what my main issue is. So I have to go through some of that shit. I have. I need a pile to donate clothes. I need a pile to throw it away. I need a pile to give to my friends. I need a pile to sell. That's four different piles of mad clothes because every time I go out, I feel like I need to buy something new. So I do have a problem with shopping. I have not been shopping for clothes now because I don't know what's going on. And I'm on a little diet too. <laughs> this keto diet is uh, it's really working and I really have not been doing much exercise. However, the Beyonce homecoming on Netflix has been giving me life. I swear to you. It it always gave me life. And it was more of a motivational thing for me. <clears throat> like I will watch her and then be motivated to write. Or be motivated to write stuff for my podcast. It would mo motivate me because I'm looking at her doing such a great thing. And her taking her time and her working hard to make it what it is. But now I've been dancing to it. The last couple of days I've been dancing to it. So that's my little exercise. It's a two hour fucking thing on Netflix, the homecoming with Beyonce. So it gives me time to work out. So now that's my daily routine to watch her homecoming show. It motivates me to write. It motivates me to do my podcast. And it's helping me lose weight at the same time while I'm doing keto. Come on now. Come on. How can you beat that? Tell me. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. But anyway, that's all I have to say about the fucking Rona. And I want you guys to stay safe and stay home so we don't spread this shit so we can go outside and play. Please. July is coming. I will be goddamn if they tell me I can't go to Jamaica because I will raise hell. I will flip the whole airport upside down and turn it over planes. I will have to sneak myself in the belly of the plane just to get to Jamaica. Do you hear me? I right, keep thinking I'm joking. <laughs> Keep thinking I'm joking. It's all good. I totally get it. But 
anyway, I was just ranting and I appreciate you ranting. And I just want you to know that this is the time to do something for yourself. So don't be discouraged. Don't feel any type of way. Just keep being great. Or if you weren't being great, start. You can start now. Don't deter. Do what you have to do. Ride the Rona for what it is at this moment. We will get through this. We've gone through some shit and we've gotten through it. You know what I mean? We haven't gone as much, you know, gone through as much as worldly events in other situations in other countries. But, you know, we could take a little bit at a time right now. Even this is too much for us. We don't even know how to behave when this, we have this. Nobody's blowing up our homes and shit. And, you know. So thank you for listening to my lovely Lone Sick Leo Life. Now that I have content, you will hear from me quite often. I might record a few times today. Um, so thank you very much. And stay safe. Keep your face masks on. Keep yourselves clean. Don't cough on your hands. Don't cough on other people. Don't sneeze on other people. Stay your distance. Keep your freaking distance. All right? I love you. Bye.